I'm literally losing brain cells. I feel like everyone that's tweeting that Cloud9's uh, draft is bad has, has no fucking concept of damage foresight that, that gets negated by, by Vigar and how awkward he skews all the engagement angles. It, it's like so sick. It's like they've never watched Vigar in their fucking life. They've, never, they've also never watched uh, Karma War of Attrition's when, when Vigar already fucking manipulates or terraforms the map to fit his team composite. It's so sick, man. Anyways, draft two starting. Oh, God. All right. Draft two is starting. All right. So Cloud9 opening with uh, Corky responded with Yumi. And then Sona is banned away. Akali now in response by Cloud or Team Liquid. Krog is then banned away by TL, so we'll see what first pick is. I mean, if it's Atrox, I'm already going to be disappointed. All right, Sejuani. Veterans flaming my draft? What draft? What draft? I, d I didn't draft anything. What is he talking about? I don't, I don't know. Oh, my analysis of the draft? That's nice. God, it doesn't matter. It's flaming my tweet. All right. Anyways. Uh... Sejuani's first picked, Tom and Skarner. Uh, Tom and Skarner now picked up by TL. I mean, I hate stuff like this, right? Th there's already mismatch between the Tom and the Skarner. There's also no reason to pick the Skarner this early. Because now, if Cloud9 just recalibrate and they pick two backline champions, the Skarner and the Tom are semi-negated. And the Tom's even... It's just so ridiculous, man. It's so fucking bad. Why are you picking Aurelia? Into Tom and Skarner. You don't have to do this. Just just, just pick long-range champions that play front-to-back in Turtle Blue Side and deny anything out of TL. Because when you, when you can... So the, the Tom... Like, I, I, I often talk about, like, MTG colors, Right? Um, I'll try to use a Hearthstone analogy, too. It would be like trying to play two different types of mage, freeze mage and, like, an aggro mage in the same style, right? That's what the, the Tom and the Skarner do. Now, even though they're going to pair it with the Varus, it still doesn't change the fact that if Cloud9 just answer with a Zir X here, there is a problem now for Team Liquid, where the, 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 the Tom Kench is inherently nullified because he's already mismatched with the Skarner. No, I'm not watching ProView. Oh, man. All right, so Nautilus is now banned away. I mean, Cloud9 Cloud and TL are both drafting really fucking weird right now, so. That's, I mean, well, I would say bad, but whatever. Is that, is that rain over? Oh, he doesn't look like a kid anymore. Holy shit. I haven't seen him in a, in a while. Right. Anyways, um, okay, so Nautilus banned away by Team Liquid, LeBlanc banned away by Cloud9. The, Le, Le, uh, the LeBlanc is specifically for the Aurelia, irregardless of, uh, or regardless of how it would fit into TL's team composition. So I have no idea. LeBlanc, you like that? All right.
Atrox uh, now picked up after Silas was banned away, which is, again, it's really surprising because TL is super short range right now. They're so, 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 so short range. Braum, Braum's not that bad. Braum, Braum, I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a soft answer to Tom Kench in a vacuum, but he's also really, really good against all the short range on TL. And in a spot like this, you just go Gangplank. You just go Gangplank. You just go Gangplank. And then you have Kai'Sa go Hybrid, and everything's okay. You just go Gangplank. He will eat Atrox for breakfast. He'll just completely decimate Atrox. He will shit down Atrox's throat. He will deny any type of Skarner engage. The Varus is not safe. A mid-rangey type of team composition is not fucking possible. And then you you just you destroy them. You just you shit on TL's chest if you go gangplank. And instead, we're gonna get a Kled. So that the NARAM can become the fucking the ARAM. I'm loving it so much right now. I am so excited to be here with you guys, Twitch chat. I am so excited. Gangplank was the best champion pick in that spot. Absa fucking lootly it was the best. Uh Uh, hold on, I'm tweeting right now. All right, I had to reply to Jarg. Jesus Christ. Ah, timer! I'm, a bu I'm not going to miss it. I'm not going to miss it. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Are you ready? I'm going to fucking hit it. I got it. I fucking got it. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Anyways, what was the last pick? Oh, God. All right. Last pick was Vlad. Tyler won is just being an absolute unit up on the stage. What did Tyler one say? I don't even know what Tyler one said. Holy shit, he's 14 and 1 on Skarner. Captain fucking Flowers is creaming himself right now. <sighs> I 
I have literally no proof on anything anyone's saying about Raritan right now. And you can link me clips or something on Twitter if you feel that strongly about whatever's happening. I, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Jesus. That was really close. That was almost a double kill. What was that? That was a donation. All right. Um, no. Oh, may maybe support for the any changes. Maybe support. I mean, when Sven, when Sven comes in for this game, I mean, this is all actually really good. Sneaky, Sneaky actually missed out on an auto. He also misses his Void Seeker. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I mean, that's, is it called Void Seeker? Uh, oh, Prey Seeker, right? Prey Seeker, not Void Seeker. What is, what is, I don't even know what that actually is. Uh, I'm a caster, by the way. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, Void Seeker's Rek'Sai. Prey Seeker. Or Kai'Sa's Void Seeker. Prey Seeker's Rek'Sai. Caster. I'm a caster. I got it. I eventually got there. Okay? A boomer like me, I need I need some aid getting there, okay? I need some fucking aid. I ca I, I Kathy I uh uh Ionian Rain is Kaisa's Q. Alright, I got it. Sven is now up here. Uh doesn't look like they're actually gonna do anything with impact. All right. The in the interesting thing about this draft is that it's really weird. If TL actually fall behind early, um, they don't have a way to stabilize against Kled. Um, I mean, it's it's just looking like uh, if TL fall behind too early. They... Um, okay. I'm on Twitter really quick. Hey, listen, Order TV. I, you know what? There was, there was a quick kill and I thought that I fucking could maybe squeeze a tweet in. Okay. cloud is going for a dive and, uh, okay. Well, they are going to get quite a few kills. Oh, Jensen actually got locked up. Oh, wow. All right. Cloud9 win. All right. The game, the game, the game should be over. The game should wholeheartedly be over. Now, it looks like Axmithy is going to crash the top wave and then he's going to move over to the Scuttle Crab. I'm assuming that that would be his rotation. He can he can crash top wave, get Scuttle Crab, and then do uh, Raptors and then Red and then Recall and Path Down. And then he can do Wolves Gromp and then look with uh, the priority that should be reestablished in mid and bot to get Mountain Drake. That would be the only thing that I can imagine. Right here up in top lane, we're taking a look at the uh, the replay here where Licorice dies.
fucking, it gets really hot really fast, and I think it's because of the three monitors. Like, I'm leaning into the three monitors. I guess I never really considered uh, maybe how much heat they can they can provide. Why the fuck is there nonstop action? What is going on? <laughs> What's going on? All right, Nizki missed the E. Oh, this is so weird, man. The like the trades are all very strange down in bottom right now. Jensen, I mean, he got locked up. Uh, Nisky could have just crashed this wave and recalled. He could he could have crashed the wave and recalled, and then it would have slow pushed back into him, which would have been not so bad. Because I I assume that he has a stinger recall, but instead he's gonna not build up. So. This is a bit of an error because he should build up a larger wave and then do the crash on the Mountain Drake timing so that Vlad has absolutely no option to move. Um, but it doesn't look like Jensen responded in time anyway. So they're going to get the Mountain Dragon and now they're coming down into bottom. Uh, Zazel only hit Core JJ with the ultimate, but it does look like it's going to be enough. Yeah, Double Lift's going to go down too. And Nizki picks up one of the kills. And then Jensen was moving, but he shouldn't have moved because he was already too late. So he should have just crashed in the wave. And Licorice was actually rotating at, uh, I mean, it, he was rotating at a good speed. Oh, man. All right. Uh, there's still four minutes left on turret plates, and I really like what Cloud9 are doing. They're rotating because there's no objective on the bottom half of the map. Teams don't do this enough. Griffin actually did it uh, in one of their recent games. I believe I was actually casting. Teams just don't do it enough. It's very rare. Like, even inside of this game, even though it's happening, I, I feel like people, they, they watch it and they don't realize why it's happening or how good it is. Even if it means that you end up trading plates, you trade out advantageously. No one does this enough. And I remember when I saw Griffin do it, I was like, holy shit. Did they finally actually have a fucking, a deep strategical talk? And then I didn't see them do it again. And I was like, well, I guess not. Um, so they're going to they're gonna summon Shelly up here in top lane. Sneaky's going to be the one that gets all the plates. He's already doing very well uh, in the game. 3 1 and 2, 92 CS. He's going to get all those turret plates. And even though Kled can't do anything down here in bottom, it's completely fine. Uh, they're able to gain complete control over the red side jungle. Uh, Kled's just waiting for the bottom turret to be killed. And now Shelly's going to crash one more time, at least, on top. It does look like Smithy and Impact are going to try to maybe capture sneaky but that would be a that would be an unwise decision they also sniff out the impact could be there world enders cast um i mean this is really bad mechanical execution jesus fucking christ God bless America. <laughs> I'm just picturing Donald Trump right now. Imagine imagine a Donald Trump statue in the Baron Pit. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh man. I mean the intentions are all good. The execution's really bad. The, the intentions are all good. I mean, if this was an LCK game, I would, I would roast them just the same. You know? No one's safe. Jesus.
Who deleted his Twitter? What? Who deleted their Twitter? What? God damn it. Twitch chat doesn't respond enough. No, I didn't. He didn't delete his his uh, Twitter. I just. All right. I mean, all right. I apologize to Jarg. He acknowledged the result based analysis uh, comment. Um. All right. That's cool. No, I didn't delete his Twitter. He didn't delete his Twitter. Now I now I feel bad. I just don't like when people make snidish comments. Like. I have no problem engaging anyone in conversation, right? I don't like when people make offhand comments about me in passing or they, like, subtweet me and they just won't engage me directly. And then when I call them out or when I say something about it, then they get upset. Like, I'm out of line or I'm out of bounds. I don't know. Anyways, in the current game, I mean, it, it, it's so unrealistic for TL to actually save this game. This is really chaotic, by the way. When I see this kind of um, polarizing gameplay, when I see this kind of polarizing gameplay, um, I, I can't help but think, well, how the hell do you actually predict this? Like, how, how do you actually predict this? Because game one... If that was if that was a game between two like middle middle of the pack LCK teams, right? Like if that's a game between Gen G and fucking Afrika, I'm always gonna pick the Vyar team composition. Uh, like fucking ninety nine out of a hundred times, I'm always gonna pick it. And I'm not even necessarily saying that those teams are somehow better than Cloud Nine or TL, but the laning phases and the general approach uh, on, a, on a synergistic level or something is going to be more fundamentally sound than an arbitrary fucking 5,000 gold deficit at 13 minutes. In, in most cases, I'm not saying that it's impossible because, I mean, just look at SKT versus Dom one game three today, okay? Uh, that was a fucking Jesus Christ. Um, but generally, team compositions do get to blossom um and you, you do get to see certain things typically right out, you know. Should should Cloud9 freeze right now? Um, it wouldn't it it wouldn't be that bad. The issue is that Cled would have a little bit of a more difficult time than say the Aurelia, but the Aurelia could definitely freeze right now. There's no neutral objective on the map. You could just wait for Vladimir or Atrox to bounce it back in, and then have Aurelia be the one to freeze. Because there's no fucking universe where TL can somehow engage on the mid tier one turret. And even if you lose the top tier one turret, you kind of want to lose it just for better map positioning. There's no universe that TL can just dive Brom, Kaisa, Sejuani, Kled. It, it is fucking impossible. If Aurelia is just freezing in bottom lane, right, with Sven Skaren just running through his fucking jungle over and over and over, there is zero possible response for TL. They just lose. And then Aurelia gets to complete to second core item for free. Kled completes the second core item for free. Um, 
Yeah. Thorn, stop replying to me. Um... I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Pike, Pike funnel in bot lane with a kleptomancy. I'm surprised that we haven't seen something like that tried, especially because like Ezreal and Karma are so good at doing it, right? Ezreal and Karma are just so good at it, and Pike is Pike is actually really fucking scary with his new ultimate. Oh my god. G2 haven't played yet? I hope that they do it. All right, there's an ARAM happening right now in mid. What is going to happen here? Ocean Dragon's being taken. Cloud9 really want to roll another mountain. They actually roll a Clown Drake, which kind of sucks. One might make the argument that Cloud Dragon isn't as bad as, say, like, a Third Ocean, which it's definitely not. Cl Cloud is definitely better than a Third Ocean here. I don't know what Jensen was doing. I'll be completely honest with you. I, I really have no idea what was going on right there, but that's okay. Um, double Lift, getting hit by a Sejuani ultimate, and there's just a total mismatch right now in the, the team composition. Yeah, so, I mean, th this game got to sort of play out like I talked about in the draft where if cloud nine get ahead early the anti-synergy of the skarner and the tom just doesn't do anything on a on a fucking fundamental level and there's no salvaging the game if tl falls behind like maybe some team compositions can actually stall for another couple of minutes before c9 gets the baron oh maybe not actually because kled's there kled's a very obnoxious fucking champion he's a little fucker He's definitely a little shit stick. When he gets ahead, he's quite obnoxious. <laughs> GP is still better than Kled. In G GP is better than Kled because Kled doesn't require you, or Kled doesn't come with the prerequisite that you ideally are ahead um, in the mid game. GP has more insurance policies. GP has the ability to salvage the game from behind. GP has more mix-ups uh, in the mid to late transition. Um, I mean, GP is able to actually accelerate the early game better than Kled due to his R. Like they're, they're very different theme champions. But when, when TL when TL has so much red. Uh, in, like they have so much red and fucking green inside of their comp. You just want a bluish champion. You want a bluish or a white champion. Um, and Kled, Kled is, I mean, Kled's red. So obviously, if you get the leg up, then yeah. I mean, Matt, it, is, is there any MTG truers in the chat right now? Hello. <laughs> is there any MTG truers? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. <laughs> Alright. There we go. <laughs> Boomer game, 26 years old. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
Magic came out when I was born. Oh my god! I'm about to be! Oh my god. I was birthed in the magic. What is this fucking team fight? It doesn't even matter. They just run down mid. Is like Smithy gonna die? No, he's not. Oh no, Scarl! Oh my god. Imagine if we had voice packs in League of Legends. And there was some voice pack that when fucking Scarl died, it's like um, Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead. And he said, he cries out, Carl! You know what I'm talking about? Imagine, imagine Andrew Lincoln riding Scarl. What a fucking skin. And he's like carrying Negan's baseball bat, Lucille. <laughs> oh, man. What an event. I don't know what Sneaky's doing, but this is okay. Double Ocean isn't, like, super useful. Let's just look at Sven Skaren's HP right now. Like, alright, look, look at Sven Skaren. Look at Sven Skaren. Look at his HP. Look at his HP. Look at his HP. It's been, like, 20 fucking seconds. He still can't re-enter the fight. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Alright, well, now he's re- No, never mind. That's Warmogs. He's cheating. All right, look at Zazel. Look at Zazel. Come on. Look at Zazel. That was Warmogs. He was cheating. <laughs> Come on. Non stop fighting. NSF. W. Not safe for work. Oh, Jesus. Any any truers in chat? Why is my Twitter update? I feel like I've been banned from Twitter. Have I been banned from Twitter? Ah, oh, Jesus. Not false. Blue truth. <laughs> Thank you for seven tier one. All right, we're just watching. Is this a fucking replay or is it another fight? Why are there 35 kills in 25 minutes? Did Teal just win a team fight? Oh, oh, Aurelia, the cheater champion, wasn't there. She's on her way. Double if you want a penta? Double if you want a penta? No, fuck me, dude. What is happening? So... All right, MTG color reference while we have a little bit of downtime before the next fight. I'll try to squeeze it in within a minute because I know that's when the next one's going to commence. Um, so red is, like, really aggressive. They want to always go face. They always just want to keep hitting you. They want to keep accelerating. They're, like, snowball-y based, etc. Think, like, Murlocs in, Hearth in, in Hearthstone, right, if you play that. Um, green is, like, about synergy and building stuff up with one another and they're sort of, like, monstrous and fucking harmony and all this other shit and fucking helping one another and whatnot. And white sort of fills many, many roles. Um, this is cool pro view. Oh, that's actually really cool kiting. Double is very quick there with his mouse. Yeah, That was good. That was very, very good. Um... So, yeah, green has a lot of modes. White sort of fills in many, many things, but it's normally a supporting color. It's normally very supportive. Think, like, Priest in any MMO that you've ever played. Like, how Priests have the options to go aggro and stuff, but they're usually very supportive and have lots of fucking enchantment and whatnot. Black is, like, power at a cost. Like, Atrox is, like, red-black. You know, he's power at a cost. He's he's really scary and strong, but he has, like, mini-games that you have to complete. And if you fuck them up, then you end up hurting yourself. Like if you fuck up Atrox's combos, you hurt yourself. If you don't get Atrox's resets, you hurt yourself. Like, yeah, like Warlock, sort of. And then Blue is all about, like, knowledge and control and, like, manipulation and terraforming and reshaping things to your advantage. So, like, Azir. Uh, or, like fucking victor 
is blue, you know, stuff like that. So Gangplank is like blue, green, white. Blue Gangplank is literally Bant, which is the the code name for blue, green, white. Like he's blue in the sense that he controls everything. He controls his HP, uses kleptomancy, he scales, he wants to go late, etc. He's green because he ramps up, he builds up, he has like mini games to complete, like getting level 13. He's white because he fulfills a very supportive type of role, also the while doing the blue and green type shit. Yeah, hope that makes sense. Anyways, uh, Cloud9 just won the game, so I hope that you guys like the uh, the, the the brief MTG breakdown. Um, I like to color code League of Legends champions; it makes drafting a lot simpler. Thanks, you hated it. No, come on. How, can we get any truers in chat if you enjoyed that? Fucking Christ. Oh, has Sneaky been losing weight? 